Hola, Ectropy here, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the more advanced commands in Showcase Standalone. This video is made with the assumption that you already know the basics of Showcase Standalone. You can watch my earlier video if you don't know the basics yet, but basically, if you don't know the basics, you're going to be quite confused. Alright, so let's begin. Over here, I already have a shop set up that is of selling bones, but it has run out of items. So all of, all of the bones have been bought by somebody, and rather than removing the shop and remaking it, I can add 10 more bones by typing slash scs add 10. Right click, and it just added 10 to that shop. Um, now what if I wanted to add all the bones currently in my inventory? I would type slash scs add, and then I'd omit the number. So just type slash scs add, hit enter, right click, and there we go. It just added all the bones that I was holding. So now that I think about it, I might want to hold on to a few of those bones for later, and I can easily remove a few just by typing slash scs and then git and then 5. So let's say I just want 5, I'm going to do this. Right click and I received 5 of my bones back. Alright, so now I'm going to go over to this shop over here that I created. It was buying gas tiers. So it looks like it has already filled up. Um, I've already bought the 437 tiers I was offering to buy, and personally I don't think 437 gas tiers is enough, so I want to allow my shop to buy more. Now of course I could remove some of the tiers to make room for more, but I'm going to raise the overall number of items my shop is willing to buy instead. So in order to do that, I can type slash scs amount and let's say I want to change it to um, 700 hit enter right click and the new buy limit has been raised the shop is now active and its inventory is not filled anymore so I, I could keep buying gas tiers from people who are willing to sell them for one dollar each not sure how many people are willing to do that alright um, also those with the right permissions can make unlimited shops that buy or sell an infinite amount of items. So for example, I'm an admin, so I have the permission to say make a shop that's going to sell diamonds for, well, sell diamonds, sell an unlimited amount, and we're going to sell them for 2000 each. I enter, I right click, it says current inventory is negative one. And it's an unlimited shop. People can buy as many diamonds as they like at 200 each. Um, so this will be restricted to staff or admins on basically every server because it's obviously extremely prone to abuse. So I'm just going to remove this shop now. Um, I can also change the price that my shop is operating at. For example, um, this was buying the gas tiers at only one dollar each. So in order to make it 200 each, I would type slash SCS price and then 200 
then right click and we see that the price is updated it's now selling those for 200 each so basically all the commands I've mentioned so far work on both showcases that are buying and selling um, and there's another type of showcase that simply displays the item that I'd like to point out and that's called a slash SES display so right here I have a display of a blaze rod and when I click on it it says item on display blaze rod um, when you create a display it doesn't actually take the item so when I go and make a display of this poison potion slash SCS and then display I kept the poison potion I didn't I didn't lose it um, but it's it's still here on display in fact I don't even actually have to have the item at all for example I can make one of diamonds I didn't have any diamonds at all but I can put these on display alright and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these remove that one remove that one alright So, the remove command works the same on displays, but the add, the get, the price, the amount, other commands like that aren't used with displays. Alright, so last up, um, I'm going to mention some of the tweaking of Showcase Standalone, as well as commands that admins can use. Um, by typing slash scs or slash scs help, you get the same menu but it gives you a nice little list of all these different things that you can do a lot of commands that I've already mentioned basically um, that's really good in case you forgot the exact wording of one of the commands but you know it exists um, so help commands pretty straightforward pretty obvious um, you can use slash SCS unit to change the amount of items you buy at once when holding shift click so I buy 64 right now but say I wanted to buy 100 instead I would now buy 100 at a time so over here this has a lot I can hold shift click and I got 100 of those instead of 64 which is my normal amount and I'm going to change that back to 64 because 64 makes more sense to me and um, we'll move on to the next thing so slash SCS last tells you about the last transaction you did so the last transaction I did is this one with the bones and I still have 96 seconds left to undo the transaction so the undo command uh, is logically <laughs> makes sense to talk about slash SCS undo will undo the last command that you or the last transaction that you did so I just undid the last buy operation and the bones are now back in the shop where they were and I didn't I didn't have to pay anything that only works as long as you make sure that you still have enough or that both the person who bought and the person who was selling still have enough money and also have enough of the items if that isn't the case then you will not be able to do that and um, whenever somebody buys from one of your shops you'll get a a message about getting it so right here the sale report this is what you get every time somebody buys from any of your shops 
Now, if you're not interested in getting that, you can say slash SCS message and then receive or ignore. So, ignore transaction message will now be ignored. Now, if I buy from here, I, it it just told me that I bought, but I didn't get a get um, any sale report. Okay, so those are all the um, basic behind the scenes commands that you probably won't necessarily use a whole lot, but they're useful to know they exist. Now I'm going to talk about a few admin commands. So these commands most normal players don't have to worry about, and they they won't see them or know much about them. But you can do the slash SCS clear, which will temporarily remove the visible items and then put them back. That works um, pretty well if, for example, there was some glitch going on with the displayed item hovering up here. So you can just clear them and do that. Um, slash SCS disable will disable the showcases in general and I'm I'll show you that so the showcase is now invisible and it doesn't actually work now if I do a slash SCS enable turns it back on and it's just back to normal those you probably won't have to or want to use very often, even if you're an admin. Slash SCS import will uh, help to switch between storage types. This is probably something only the server administrator, like the actual person who runs it, is going to need to worry about, so I'm not going to mess with that command. And slash SCS reload will reload all the shops from storage. So those probably won't be used a whole lot. And it's just good to know that they exist, but you won't often be using them. All right, so over here, one last thing that I'm going to mention that admins can do. We can change the owner of a shop. So here we see that Amrita owns this shop, and she's selling some stuff. It's active and all that. So we can change the owner by typing slash SCS owner and then for example now Kohat owns this shop and if I buy from it he gets the money from every transaction and he also gets the messages and so I can do the same thing um, and change the owner to me. Now it's my shop. I can buy melons. I get money from it. So basically that can be useful if you need to change the ownership of a shop or if one of your members asks you to change the ownership and things like that. Alright, so that's all I wanted to cover. Um, Basically, if you have any additional questions about Showcase Standalone, um, of course, leave a message in the comments, and I will, I'll certainly respond. Um, also, there's always the bucket for like um, documentation that you can use, and they they tell all about the different commands and whatnot that this uses. But I'm going to stop rambling now and say goodbye. Um, see you next time. If you have any other plugins you'd like to hear about, let me know. I'm, I'll am i probably be doing more later on as I find ones that don't have good tutorials about them. So thanks for watching. Bye.